Okay, this is just a demonstration of using Unity with uh, Arduino, but in this case we're going to be using the photo sensor, uh, so using analog input rather than digital. So I'm just going to start this off to just show how it works, hopefully before the battery runs out, and as you can see we're getting a whole load of errors which are being caused by uh, the serial read not having anything sent to it. So as I move my hand you can see that the data sometimes changes with numbers to indicate the resistance that's being generated from the photo resistor. And to demonstrate this going the other way, I'm just going to use my phone just to create some light. And that is mirroring up in Unity. And then when it goes dark, it goes dark in the world. So, just to explain what's happening here, we'll go through the Arduino code first. So, this is the example which is a little bit different from one of my earlier examples. Now, what we've got is a light pin, which is zero, which is one of the analog ports uh, just here. And we've got a threshold, which to be honest, uh, I'm not using that in this example, it's something which was left over, so to be honest I can comment that out. Okay, so what's happening here is effectively the value that's coming from the photo sensor is being sent on a serial in a print line. But if I bombard Unity with a single or with lots of data every single uh, update, it will effectively cause a backlog. So what I've done here is I've just written a script to check only to send data if the value changes by 10 or by negative 10 and then it will send it. So any slight fluctuations won't be sent and it will be sending it less data which means that it works pretty much automatically. And then we just save the integer of the light, send it and then unless there's a larger variance of light then it won't send anything. Now what Unity does on its end is, and sorry for the messy I uh, should have cleaned this up really, but never mind. Uh, we're reading in the information which is coming through, and if there is some information in there, then we're calling um, a function which I've written down here. And I'm parsing that message into a float. Now, if the value is set, say, uh, coming through as 50, then dividing it by 100 will give me 0 0.05. Then what I've done is I've subtracted that 0 0.05 from 1. The reason for this value is because the intensity here, if I change it up or down and up, then it goes from light to darkness. And because the value gets higher when it gets darker, I just needed to do that little bit of maths here just to subtract it. So I'm effectively flipping it around, reversing it. So it can only ever be as intense as uh, 1.0 and it can completely be turned off. So that's pretty much the process. Um, just to kind of get a little bit further in with the wiring here, and now I've just pulled out a hole. Whoops, a daisy. So putting that back in. Um, so all I've got is a photoresistor here, a 100,000 ohm uh, or ohm uh, resistor and that's all that's been set up for that part of things. So darker, lighter, darker, lighter, darker, lighter, and these are still working from before. 